Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is DMAC, and today I am looking at this very nice all brass Corbin padlock. Uh, this is sent from Brummy Lock Picker, it's a challenge lock, and uh, it comes with this little booklet. Uh, all the people that have uh, picked it and um, that it's been sent to, so it's uh, currently traveling the world, I think. Uh, it's landed on my doorstep. Um, very nice looking lock, nice patina to it there. A few lumps and bumps and scrapes on him. He's obviously lived a hard life, um, but yeah, retired to challenge lock status now. Um, looking in the keyway there, you can probably see just on pin one, there's a ball bear in there. I don't think that's standard. I'm guessing this has been milled open and various horrible pins have been put into it. Um, to make it a more challenging pick and uh, it certainly is that um, I received it a couple of days ago um, I did pick it open but not on video so this is my attempt to pick it open on video um, so yeah we're going to pop him in the vise um, and yeah try to pick him open I'm going to zoom you in a little bit there there we go and We'll use this deep hook and this top of the keyway tensioner. I think this took some quite heavy tension before, so um, I'll apply the same technique again. One, two, nothing. Small click on three, four, five's bind in. Click on five to five pin lock. Uh, one, two, three's bind in. I thought three was bind in. Didn't get a click. I have to click on five, I think. It's very difficult actually to know which pin you're on when there's ball bearing. Uh, if there's more ball bearings in there, you do tend to slip off the pin. So I think sometimes you'd think it was, uh, I think it was a click, and you, all you're doing is sliding the uh, the pick off of the ball bearing. Okay, is that one? No. Okay, that's three. That's a small click on three. Another click on five. And that's one binding. something move then I'm not sure what it was two three four I think that was two we've got a small movement on the core Okay, that was five, and I felt, felt something move. Two, three, four. Small click on four. It was three again. Just going to release a bit of tension there, just in case something was overset. Didn't seem to be getting much feedback from the lock. That was five. Uh, 
Okay, I'm not getting much. I'm going to come off a little bit, drop a couple of pins and go back in. Hopefully, if I've overset something, it's dropped back down again there. So that was a five. Nice positive click on five. I think that's one binding. Difficult to get on that bloody ball bearing. Oh, that was one. Nice deep full set on one. Counter rotation on two, and I think, yeah, we're open. Fantastic. That definitely took a little bit of a battle there. Um, I'm not sure what nastiness is inside there. Um, but yeah, hats off to your Bromi lock picker. That's a very, um, yeah, challenging little pick. And uh, like I say, that bloody ball bearing <laughs> in one. Um, I had to use quite heavy tension then. Um, and every time one was binding, I was just sort of slipping off of it. Um, I think that maybe there are more ball bearings in there, I don't know. Um, either way, you did an excellent job um, putting this lock together. I might appreciate you sending it out for folks like me to pick. And I'll be sending uh, this one on to uh, Busy Hands Picking. I think he's the next victim. So, um, yeah, I'll be sending it off to him tomorrow and hopefully... Uh, he'll be able to have a, have a go at it himself. Um, so yeah, I'll lock him up. And there we go, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and bye for now.